What is up, family? Welcome to Speak. There has been no more debated week in all of sports than this week. Why? Because two teams that we expected to see in the NFC Championship game, at least one of them, and they both at home in Cancun right now. It's very simple. Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy, he just lost in the playoffs. Eagles coach Nick Sirianni, he just lost in the playoffs. But if you all would remember, you're talking about two 11-plus win teams, and both had excruciatingly devastating seasons. I was completely shocked. I was completely dismayed to realize the Cowboys, the Eagles, and neither one of them could advance past the wild card round. Absolutely pathetic. But here's the question. Which coach is on the hotter seat? Y'all know Jerry Jones. He does not like to tolerate mediocrity. And you know Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie, they don't like to tolerate it either. Heading over to the desk because nobody knows these gentlemen better than Eagles all-time rushing leader, LaShawn Shady McCoy. 2-5, I like that. It's lilac. Looks good. Yeah, it's something to drink. What, what is that color? Lilac. What a show we have in store. for and James Jones, how you feeling? I feel good, man. What's going down? It's all good. It's all good. Joy Taylor. Taylor looking elegant as always. Thank you. Did the nails intentionally match the outfit? or is that um, They didn't, but, you know, details. Thank details. you. The details. Happy, happy birthday Thank to you. George. Thank you. <laughs> happy birthday Don't to George Taylor. You better uh, sing, sing it. it. Don't say it. Sing it. Happy birthday to Y'all just put me on the spot, though. Oh, I'm with uh, it, big dog. It I'm is. with it. Well, things getting real ghetto out in Dallas and in Philly, 2-5, <laughs> because <laughs> seats are hot for these coaches. Mike McCarthy, he had a disappointing end to the season. Nick Sirianni, he had a disappointing end to the season. Whose seat is hotter? It's the most debated topic in sports today. Mike McCarthy, Sirianni. It's got to be Mike McCarthy, mm. right? And I'm not saying it's because I'm the all-time leading rusher for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm not saying that. The thing is because, like, if you just look at the, the track record, since, since um, Nick Sirianni has got there, he got better and better and better. I mean, for God's sakes, fellas. <laughs> they was just a Super Bowl last year. True. They did do that. That True. did happen, right? And you look at McCarthy where I do feel like the, the Cowboys were playing better. Mm -hmm. The quarterback was playing a lot better, MVP-type caliber, which you said. Mm -hmm. um, nine All-Pros? Nine eight. of them. Come on. So, like, if I ask you who's playing better, are the Eagles and the Cowboys, it's easy you say the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. So... If you look at the, the, the uh, recent performance as far as last year, Super Bowl, this year they get to the playoffs, they're not playing as well. I'm talking about the Eagles. It's got to be the Cowboys, mm -hmm. for sure. Jerry Jones and the Cowboys are one of the biggest brands in football. Yeah. And think about this. All these years we talk about how good the quarterbacks are, the teams are, and all this stuff. They haven't been to the NFC Championship game. Forget the Super Bowl. Yeesh. Like, we speak of the Super Bowl thing like it's a, like it's a video game. No, no. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen a, a conference championship game. Mm -hmm. Forget the Super Bowl. Where the Eagles... We been to the Super Bowl last year. We had, a, we had a bump in the road this year. Next year, we look to get back on track. Can you say anything for the Cowboys? Because one thing about the Cowboys, history repeats itself. Over and over again, they win a game, then they lose. Yeah. This time, they just lost off the rip. Yep. So it's got to be Mike McCarthy. Shady, I disagree with you, but I do like everything that you said. I think Nick Sirianni's on a hotter seat. And for me, it's simple so Nick, joy. It's simple, James. I think Nick's on a hotter seat because... There is no great explanation for the Eagles' losses. Mm -hmm. See, James, I work with a lot of people who have a large team, thankfully. And if anybody ever makes a mistake on my team, I always want to know this, 2-5. I want to know this, Joy. But why did it happen? Mm -hmm. If you can give me a good reason as to why you forgot to add that interview to the calendar, as to why you forgot to schedule that business meeting, as to why the Zoom link isn't currently on my calendar, then I'll be like, okay, I get it. There's a good reason. But if there's not a good reason, now I'm hot. Mm. There is no great reason for why the Eagles struggled as they did. What's your why, Sirianni? Mm -hmm. Because you decided to change defensive coordinators and you didn't have the right defensive coordinator in the building? What's your why, Sirianni? Because your offense was stagnant, but aren't you an offensive coach? What's your why, Sirianni? Because your all-pro quarterback didn't play like an all-pro, but isn't he under the tutelage of you? What's your why, Sirianni? What in the world did you lose six of your last seven games for? What's your why, Sirianni? Mike McCarthy, he has a why. 
He lost to the Cardinals. Yeah, they got us with the zone read scheme. Micah Parsons, he's not yet equipped to play the run when you run directly at him. What's your why, Mike McCarthy? Well, Dak Prescott, Jerry, you the one who paid Dak Prescott four years, $160 million, and you paid your running back before you paid Dak, so you doubted Dak before I ever did. Mike McCarthy, why'd you lose to the Miami Dolphins? Well, come on now, at the goal line, Tony Pollard fumble. You're the one who gave me a roster without Ezekiel Elliott. You're the one who gave me a roster without a goal line bruising running back. What's your why, Mike McCarthy? Mike McCarthy has excuses. Mm. Dare I say it, he has explanations. To me, Nick Sirianni has no excuse nor an explanation. So for that reason, if you are in your inter exit interviews and you ask Sirianni what happened, he can't give you a reason that you like. He better. But if you ask Mike McCarthy what happened, he could eat. I just gave you the reasons. Yeah. Only one Mike McCarthy has to own Buffalo Bills. Mm -hmm. Hey, coach, I'll be honest. I didn't have to prepare. I just want to ask you one question for anybody else that goes on, right? Because that was a great take. But and you kind of got that like Nino Brown look, and Nino Brown kind of speaks like like like, can't, like can't the whole thing. I get it, that. <laughs> but like, it, it seems like you cool with excuses, right? And, and I'm a big fan of what have you done for me lately? What is your what's your resume? Mm -hmm. And it's it's crazy for me to think that you are okay with firing a coach that last year just took his team to the Super Bowl, firing a coach that every year he's got better and better and better compared to a coach that once was a Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. that, that, that did happen yeah, yeah, he got a while, while ago. Yeah. Super dirt, uh, dusty spider webs yeah. on the trophy. Yeah. Mine's still shining, though. <laughs> right? That, and then it's like, yo, if you look at the, the, the track record for the Cowboys, why would you bring him back? And don't tell me nothing about players. Talk about his success. Because every year they do this. They win a game and they lose. This year they didn't even win at all. So how can you be okay with hiring or keeping a coach that did that compared to the coaches taking to the Super Bowl. I'll, I'll answer that and then I'll throw you to Oop Joy Taylor. Yeah, throw, throw, the, reason, the reason I'll answer it is this. Them. If I'm McCarthy, it's simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all wanted the brilliant young mind of Kellen Moore. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted, Jerry. Yeah. Because when you hired me, you forced me to retain Kellen no Moore. Question. So you wanted him. No he walked out the building and our quarterback had the best season of his career. Correct. He walked out the building and our offense had the best when you combine everything, offensive Ever. performance of their Ever. careers. Yep. So I have proven that I am valuable to this organization. Mm -hmm. Unlike Sirianni, who lost his OC and the offense fell off, lost his DC and the defense fell off, at least Mike McCarthy can say, I'm the mind. Mm -hmm. I'm the mind of this whole thing. Whereas Sirianni, he has to find the mind of this whole thing. So that's how I would try to answer that question. But Joy, what you got? Whose seat is hot? At least he said he tried. I <laughs> I'm saying Sirianni only because it's Philadelphia. I do not think that either of these men should okay. be in the hot seat. They get wow. I, do get wild. I don't think either of them should be in the hot seat. I think they should have explanations. I do think Sirianni does have some explaining to mm -hmm. do, some answers to give. McCarthy as well. But since 2021, Andy Reid has the best regular season winning percentage. No surprise. No, no surprise. Uh, one game under him is Mike McCarthy. Mm -hmm. And then no surprise. two games under him no is Nick Sirianni. Oh. So it's Andy Reid, Mike McCarthy, Sean McDermott, Kyle Shanahan, Nick Sirianni. Mm -hmm. Good team, good team, good team, good team. Regular season, of mm -hmm. course. So if you want to be in a position to go to a Super Bowl, you must first do what? When? Make the postseason. Oh. Which both of these men have shown the ability to put their team in a position, even in a bad year, mm -hmm. to do. Now, obviously, they have higher aspirations, but the only reason I'm saying Sirianni is because in, since 2011, they've had five head coaches, the Eagles. And over the those same, same amount of time, the last 13 seasons, the Cowboys have had two. Jason Garrett, and Mike McCarthy. Mm -hmm. I don't see Jerry going through coaches very quickly. He's very loyal. Once he's your guy, you know how he is. It's Jerry's thing. You see, he sticks with his people for good or for bad until it gets way bad and he can't explain it. Now, I know he's, he's getting a little older. He might get a little more reactionary, but I'm only saying Nick Sirianni because Philadelphia has a more of a track record of going through coaches. But, I don't think he should even, be in the hot seat. I mean, I guess we had to pick one, so I get it, but... But one took his team to the Super Bowl. Oh, no, yeah. I, don't, I don't think they should fire Nick Sirianni. I don't think he should be in the hot seat at all. I think he should be held accountable like everyone does for the failure that this season was. Yeah. But I don't think that he should be in the hot seat. I don't think he should fire either of them. I don't think they neither should. But I'm just saying if we had to pick one. Yeah. We had to pick one. I'm not even – I'm just answering because – it's the job. We have to answer the question. <laughs> but, like, because if I was to say who would be closer to being fired, it would be Nick Sirianni because Philadelphia. it's Philadelphia. Yeah. I mean – I'm taking Nick Sirianni as well, and the main reason is you said a lot Did of you good... you play for Mike? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. You said a lot of good compliments <laughs> about Mike. Quarterback got better. Yeah. Offense good. got good better. Coach. Right? Defense played at a whole, whole different rate, right? Nick Sirianni, everybody played bad. True. Everybody took a mm -hmm. step backwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the defense to the offense to the quarterback, everybody took a step right. backwards. Right. So for me, as I'm doing the firing... 
And I look at that, I'm like, okay, well, yeah, we lost in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? And you could blame the defense for, for the Cowboys. You could blame Dak. You could blame my, whoever you want to blame. We lost. But over the course of the season, the way I seen Coach Mike coach, everybody got better. You can't say that about Nick Sirianni. And then again, like Joy said, we talking Philadelphia. And I know the Cowboys got the star in their helmet, right? A lot comes with that. But Philadelphia, they don't really stick with their coaches. You got the greatest coach of all time, in your humble opinion, in Andy Reid. He and 15. he went to four straight yeah. NFC championships and a Super Bowl, and they got rid of him. You fired Doug Peterson after he won a Super Bowl, three years after he won a Super Bowl. Chip Kelly win 10 games back to back. You yeah. fire him third. So... Their tolerance is a whole lot lower yeah, than low. Jerry Jones. He it's stuck low. with Jason Garrett for 10 years, and Jason Garrett in 10 years won a division three times. Coach Mike done did it two, two Four, years in, ten, in three. Can I put this in your You know, head? so for me, Nick Sirianni is on the hot seat because everybody took a step back. Let me back. put this in your head. I want Talk you to just hear me for a Talk second. Talk to us. So you said some good things, right? You look at the team for Mike McCarthy, they, they got way better, yeah. right? Sirianni, guys didn't play well. They didn't look better. But this is my thing. It's Nick Sirianni's year, a bad year, mm -hmm. and everybody looked bad, and we lost in the first round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy, Ooh. best year, best quarterback know. play, best yeah. defense, best yeah. offense. We look great. You look great. You said everybody looked better, right? Yep, same exit. Same results. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. But when my, when my coach, Nick Sirianni, did his best, you know where we're at? Yeah. Where we go? To the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But when Mike did oh, his oh, best, oh, we won it. Well, Mike, when you at your best for the Cowboys, Cowboys. you losing the first round. Yeah, he cooking. So when you saying— Good you said the Cowboys. When, when, when you, when you saying— <laughs> Who deserves yeah. to be in the hot seat? Yeah. And I, now, now I'll say this. I do think that both coaches should not get fired. No doubt. But if we had to pick who's in the hot seat, mm -hmm. I got to go with the one that our worst year, yeah, we lost in the first round. Yeah. But when we're at my best year, mm -hmm. we're going to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But his other coach, my best year, yeah. we're losing the first round. Yeah, yeah. But, but, the, and, but the crazy thing is, is when they sit Nick Sirianni down, they're not going to say, ooh, last year you went to the Super Bowl. It's all off this year. Right, and when that. you really look at, well, that. why is he on? The, why are we talking about he on the hot seat? It's strictly because this cause, year, because Philadelphia. Yeah. And, and my thing is, like, and, and we look bad. We paid a quarterback two hundred million. Exactly. Miles. But my thing is, you cannot forget about the Super. Like it didn't happen. You can't. You know how I'm hard not, it is to get there. No, but I'm you not know, saying. Know that. Yeah. But you know they like to. Howie and Lurie, like, I, they like, they like, respectfully, <laughs> Maybe like, they, they, I can't even front, yeah. like, they like to, whether it was with Nick Foles, whether it was with Doug Peterson, whatever the case may be, Foles was Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP, now Carson Wentz was balling at the time, but the next year, Foles was a backup, yeah. easily, built him a statue, and said, you the number two on the depth chart, and then he moved to Jackson, uh, Jordan Taylor, let me ask you this, when you're a Pittsburgh girl, mm -hmm. should the Steelers want Mike Tomlin back? Mm. Yes, of course. Let's change his thoughts, Joy, let's, yes. let's give it five. Of course, they should want Mike Tomlin back. We talk a lot about great coaches we just talked about two really good coaches yeah. two two really good coaches a super bowl level coach and a super bowl winning coach no wins during the regular season what constitutes greatness is it, andy reed is the best coach in the league is bill belichick great is, is is pete carroll great who are hall of famers what makes the best coach of all time 17 seasons mm. Never had a losing season. All those other coaches that we mentioned, that we talk about in, in greatness, yeah. cannot mm. say that. Say that, that is again. remarkable. Say that mm. again. No losing seasons in mm. 17 seasons. No, no, no. Mm. no, no. None. Of them. None. None. Doesn't matter who's playing quarterback. One year in 2017, mm -hmm. He won games with Duck Hodges. Who that? Who that? Who? Devlin Duck. Went 0-2 with Ben Roethlisberger, had Mason Rudolph, Duck Hodges. Still didn't have a losing season. Devlin Duck. We, want, we line up all kinds of excuses for coaches and teams. Oh, they had injuries. Nice Their guy was out this year. How, how can you do anything without your starting quarterback? How can you do anything without your starting quarterback? That's Mike Tomlin. He's mm. got the sauce. Mm. So imagine what could happen. Wow. We talk about how great are you and your greatest. And the greatest with, the, with, with a great quarterback, you're winning a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I say all that to say... Consistency matters. The Steelers are an organization that we never think of as being dysfunctional. We know they're led well. They have a culture. They have an identity. And if you have Mike Tomlin, you have a chance and you're going to be stable. Now, is that the standard for Pittsburgh who has six Lombardis? Mm. No. That's a lot of them. Mm. But there's a lot of good coaches that don't have that on their resume. They've never had a losing season. Mm. That's not, that's, that's the, that's the floor. The floor mm -hmm. is we're not going out of the season no matter what happens, who we lose, what goes on. Oof. We're not going out Oof. with a losing season. That's good. That's, that's good. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's good. Oh, he ready he ready to hate. Yeah. I don't <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm I'm hate. Hate. I just Oh, you still cooking. Go ahead. I mean, I can cooking? cook, but I want to save some time for um, you know. <laughs> no, it ain't you yet. Yeah. It ain't you yet no, if you're gonna no. dog him. No, I'm not gonna dog him. I got questions. Oh, he gonna dog him. Can I ask questions? Can I ask questions? Okay, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I think maybe you should ask questions. Yeah, let us read that. Questions. Your questions. My, uh, my questions, America. Uh-huh. 
Can Tomlin create it or can he just coach it? That's my only question. Can he create it or can he just coach it? Mike Tomlin won a Super Bowl. Now, you was talking about James and Dusty Super Bowl. Can he create it? Break that down. What do you mean by that? Tomlin coached a Super Bowl team that Bill Cowher left over. Okay. Like, remember, the Super Bowl team that Mike Tomlin coached had won a Super Bowl, I believe it was two or three years prior. Gotcha. Right? So I think about what was the roster that Mike Tomlin coached. I will show it to y'all because I don't want y'all to think that I'm deceiving you all. The players that are in yellow were starters or on the Super Bowl roster that Bill Cowher coached. 11 defensive starters, 11 offensive starters starters. What you will see is only 15, excuse me, 15 of the 22 starters were on the Super Bowl team. Of course, Mike Tomlin can coach it. Duh, he's an incredible coach. But can he create a Super Bowl team? I am abundantly clear, abundantly sure that he can coach a Super Bowl team when you give him one, like Barry Switzer. But can he create a Super Bowl team? Because when I think about this roster and when I think about what Mike Tomlin has done since, I think about what Joy says about Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick cannot adjust. Now, typically, Joy, I believe when you're saying that, you're talking about offensively, particularly schematically. But I'm thinking about Mike Tomlin. Has he shown us the proficiency in being able to handle guys in the locker room? This roster that I just showed y'all, vet, 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 vet. But you think about the Steelers as of late. You got the AB issues. They haven't won since AB goes on uh, Instagram Live in 2016. You got Juju Smith. He a character. Then you got George Pickens. He a character. Characters, characters, characters. Le'Veon Bell, you can't even get him to play football. He want to sit out because he want to go get paper. I'm sure that Tomlin can coach it. That's not a question in my mind. The issue I have, not even the issue, the question I have for y'all is, can he create it? Because we always talk about what Mike Tomlin does with such bad quarterbacks. That's a great point. I've made the point. I agree with the point wholeheartedly. But whose fault is it? Didn't nobody say you can't acquire a quarterback? And if you can't acquire a good quarterback, why not make your quarterback good? Nobody thinks that highly of Brock Purdy, but Brock Purdy was about to win an MVP 14 weeks into the season. So if you can't acquire it, can you create it? So, and my thought is very simply, and I'm done, is mm-hmm. I know he can coach it. Mm-hmm. I know he can coach it. And I'm not saying that the Steelers shouldn't like my Tom, my, want Mike Tomlin. I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, you ain't won a playoff game, or you've won one playoff game, I think, since 2016 or none at all. You can coach it, but can you create it? How about the, how about the uh, team he took to the Super Bowl? He ain't create that one? He ain't bringing in players, Antonio Holmes and all them boys that was mm-hmm. Super Bowl MVPs and all. He ain't bring them dudes in? You're right about that. I'm not going to argue with that. The defense was still the same. The defense when you still had... San Antonio Holmes was a big part of that championship, wasn't he? Well, the one they won is this roster I showed you, oh, okay. where, where only seven starters were not on the Super Bowl team. He's talking about the one they went I know, lost. but I, I'm, sure, I'm sure some dudes on that defense that wasn't there on, on that course. Super Bowl team. Of, so that's what I'm saying. So for me, I feel like, yes, he didn't go and win it, but he can create it. They but this, this is just crazy to me when we sit here and talk about Hall of Fame coaches like Mike Tomlin because he's going to end up in the Hall of okay. Fame 17 straight seasons with... Out a losing season. That, that, that is crazy. So I truly believe he can create it and he can coach it with what he's shown us. But it's crazy to me because we trying to give Kevin Stefanski coach of the year because he done play with four different quarterbacks and he in Cleveland with this big time. D. We're trying to get this man coach of the year. Mm-hmm. And we talking about this man over here that T.J. Watt missed games, mm-hmm. Cam Hayward missed games, mm-hmm. Minka, Minka, Minka Fitzpatrick missed games. Miss games. That's games. three all-pro yeah. players with a sorry quarterback, mm-hmm. and I'm still winning games mm-hmm. because all these coaches that we t- we talking about, you know what I'm saying? When the Niners had a couple injuries, Lord Jesus, <laughs> this great coach that we crowned in mm-hmm. Cash and the Lord have mercy. He's He's Your preaching. quarterback was still there, and you can't win no games, and we blaming the defense and all this. Come on, man. This dude, with anything they give him created, there or not, he's a winner. He is. And he gets the best out of his players, and they win. He has been to two Super Bowls and won and has never had a losing season. And w- since he set that standard, we want to crown all these other coaches accomplishing little stuff. And when it comes to him, we're talking about firing or getting rid of? Not firing. No, I'm just saying even Not the firing. Pittsburgh media and all that yeah. is talking about that like this man could be on the hot. But my, that is crazy it to come, me. It's come down, Joy. I, you, you wrote something down. I started to say You said the standard for Pittsburgh is Lombardi's. That's, to me, the only reason it's a conversation. If Mike Tomlin was coaching the Browns, coaching the Cardinals, you know, coaching other organizations. Can I, can I ask you a question real quick? Which coach is taking this team to win a Lombardi? Can you answer that? I don't believe any. That's what I'm saying. But but I don't think, how much longer are we going to give grace for the excuse of the team? reason I say that is like, it's not my fault y'all don't have a quarterback. 
It's not Joy's fault y'all drafted Kenny Pickett. It's not James's fault that y'all drafted Kenny Pickett. It's not y'all's, it's not my fault y'all let Ben Roethlisberger stay two to three years longer than he should have. Like that has nothing to do with me or Joy or James. So we keep using this crutch as to why they're not going far, but whose fault is it that y'all got hurt in the first place? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say, uh, politically speaking, I think we know that, you know, it, it's not always just the head coach's call, particularly when you're talking about a Hall of Fame quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger in the city of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're not you're not like cutting him or like forcing him to retire for for a, a bunch of different reasons. I think what it comes down to is I, I disagree. I think he can create it. I think he can coach it. He's been to another Super Bowl, so he is capable of doing that without having carryover from the previous coach. The Pittsburgh Steelers have had three coaches in their entire existence. Okay, they are they are the standard of consistency. They are not filing through things. They are not panicking, and there's no reason for them to. Up until Tom Brady and Bill Belichick won that 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 Super Bowl, they had the most Super Bowls of any organization in football. Mm-hmm. Six. They are now tied with the with one of the greatest dynasties we've ever seen in Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. That happens for a reason, and it's not because they panic. And we talk about good coaching. We talk about a coach cannot go out there and play, right? Who puts their players in a position to win more than Mike Tomlin? Mm. No one. You might argue no one in the history of the NFL is capable of taking a talent and putting them in a position to succeed better than Mike Tomlin. When you look at what he has had to do and the number of winning seasons that he's had, despite injuries or changeover or drama or whatever it is, old quarterback, young quarterback, whatever it is, no one does that better than him. No one. You, you, there's, no, there's no example mm-hmm. for it. So I hear what you're saying, that they haven't been playing up to the standard. They want more postseason success. They should want more postseason success. Who and what is doing that in Pittsburgh? Nobody. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody. I think, and Shady, I want you to chime in on this. I don't think anybody. I just think, like, I think we're looking at it wrong because I've been looking at it wrong. I'm look, we're looking at it like, well, who could do what Tomlin's doing in Pittsburgh? But I think the better question could be asked of why is Tomlin doing it like that in Pittsburgh? Man, who could deal with them attitudes of those players? Well, why are those players on the roster? Who could deal with that quarterback dysfunction? Well, why do y'all have that quarterback situation? Like, it's, it's, it's just not my fault. That's my only thing. I'm also thinking the other three coaches in that division. All three of those coaches have shown higher highs more recently than Tomlin has. Zach Taylor went to a Super Bowl two years ago. Kevin Stefanski, what he did, obviously you cooked on what Tomlin did. To me, what Kevin Stefanski did with this team is still more impressive than what Tomlin did this year. And Harbaugh, he needs no explanation. But, so, but see, I, that's what's so crazy because you just praise my man from Cincinnati, and I'm going to let Shady go, but... But he had a backup quarterback this year, and he with us. Mm-hmm. Tomlin just played in the playoffs. And it's so many franchises that drafted bust at the quarterback spot. And you know where they quarter- coach ended up? Fired. Mm-hmm. This man just keep on saying, don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Yeah, we made a mistake. Don't trip. I'll cover it up. I'll cover it. We talk about great quarterbacks covering up a lot of stuff. Mike has covered up a lot of yes. stuff. I'll let yes. Shady cook. Cook two five. Hang on. I mean, I, I agree with you guys. I think Tomlin's... It is truth. He wins games when a lot of his coaches don't. I keep saying, like, Belichick's name to get interviewed. I'm like, for what? Well, hey, back quarterback, he can't win. You, put, you look at Mike Tomlin up Pittsburgh. Who can win with them quarterbacks? And I'm a Pittsburgh guy. I love um, Kenny Pickett. I mean, but just the saying the things he's done with that team speaks how good he is as a coach. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.